Hey guys, it's uh, Sean Valentine here, and uh, today I'm going to do another packaging video. As you can see, I scratched out my address, so I don't know if you can see it. But um, you know, a few days ago, I was thinking about, you know, I'm going to do a retro capture series, and I decided to split it up into two different parts. Um, one part is going to be, ooh, one part is going to be reviews. And part's gonna be the show cap. It's gonna be the capturing series. Like the first, now the first episode, I will say is going to come out um, next week. I'm not gonna tell you what game it is gonna be on, but I think it's gonna be a good one. Um, but yeah, uh, onto the game that I got. In. Holy shit! It's actually in pretty good condition. It, it will Okay, that looks good. That looks good. That's good. That's good. Unfortunately, no, it's not that bad. But um, the game I got today is a sequel to a game that, n unless you own the Saturn or know anything about Sega Saturn, you wouldn't know of, because it was actually only the game's only ever came out on Sega Saturn, and uh, that game would be Bug Two. Sega Saturn. It's a complete box. No. Um, I have. It's kind of rare to get these games completely in box, but um, one thing I will say is that um, I'm a huge Six Seven collector. I've been collecting for let's say four years now, and my goal is to have 40 Six Seven games. It's my goal currently, but of course I'm gonna add on to that the more the more games I get once I hit that mark. But um, I own a lot of Japanese games for the Six Seven because yeah, I have an action replay cart. And I own a good, good amount of uh, boxed North American games, but most of my North American games are out of the box. So, yeah, like, um, you know, ex I don't, I've never played any of the bug games before. I'm probably getting bug one next week, and uh, you know, expect an episode Wednesday because I'm also getting game Wednesday in the mail. But uh, yeah. I've never played this game, but I've heard great things about the bug series. So, uh, I have my six satin right here. So, uh, I'm gonna pop the game in. And we will move on to the. Hey guys, it's uh, Sean Ram Team here, and uh, you know, moving on to the gameplay portion of the video, obviously. And, uh,. I think I would say I was, uh, I think I said this in the first half, but I've never actually played Bug, any of the series before. Um, it's never, these, the series has never been revived and it's never been on any other console. To my knowledge, I think it may have been on PC, but as far as like consoles go, um, this franchise has never seen a revival on another platform before. Up until today, I've never even seen a, a bug game. No, that's not true. Uh, I had a chance a long time ago to pick up a bug, but I did not go for it because uh, I had already bought Skies of Arcadia that day. Con, and that was $35. So I was like, wait, wait, I'm just spending my money. I think the guy wanted 10 for it, and I don't think I had enough money for it, so unfortunately I couldn't get it at the time. Uh, in the la like I said in the, in the first part of the video, I have definitely decided to, you know, get the, I'm getting the second one next week? I mean, I'm getting the first one next week, so hopefully, you know, Hopefully I'll be able to do a video on that. I mean, I'm definitely going to do a video on that. Because I don't have class. Which is great. Uh, one thing that I'm sure you've noticed about this game is it kind of has a fisheye lens kind of view to it. Where you pull in and follow it. And I love the gameplay. I love the game so far. As far as my life. Uh, no, 
want to see this way. You'll notice it in quite a lot of the game, and that was, I guess, kind of the unique thing about these about uh, Clock Legacy series is that they kind of did that, and I think an engine. That I think originally, the engine for this game was gonna actually be used for Sonic Extreme, which which was for NAD. I don't know is actually going to be the main Sonic game for the Saturn, but due to it being a bitch to develop, um, it never got done. Uh, there does exist a playable version, well it's not a playable bit of the game that was issues still, but you kind of need a Sega Saturn emulator to play it, or you need a modded Sega Saturn to play uh, backups. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, you kind of need a modded Sega Saturn to be able to play it. Um, mind, I could usually open up my Saturn, just hit on the switch that lets you know when to get a certain console. I don't need that because it's way too much time on me. I should save up for freaking games for my Sega Saturn game, especially Pete. You never know what could happen. And I'm not going to. Maybe for a later video, if I ever do get a Sega Saturn emulator properly running, I might look into it. But uh, don't expect me to do it anytime soon because I just honestly don't have the time for that. Um, you know, I'm just going to get past this little part right here because I know this is going to be tricky and I'll just leave you guys with the gameplay uh till next time guys <laughs>